One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's uh, Tom Dizzo here. Hope you guys had a great weekend and also a great trading month uh, last month, uh, August. This week, gonna have a you know a, a long weekend since uh, okay, it's close on Monday. But uh, today, I, w I just want to make a quickly. You no, know, I I'm probably gonna keep it you know short and sweet uh, regarding this. Today, I'm gonna make a video on uh, one of the strategy that Bao use it a lot, and I've seen like uh, a lot of questions uh, about this in weekend mentoring also. So a lot of people are sending me DMs and uh, you know before I even start uh, you know this is the setup that I'm not you know really like good at but I just you know I I, I will uh, do my best to explain in details so for everyone uh, to kind of understand it and uh, so today's uh, video's topic is going to be recycling okay and uh, recycling this is uh, one of the strategy that uh, you know Bao's basically using every day and I'm probably gonna say, you know, it's not easy for new traders, okay? Even for myself as well, uh, sometimes I try to do that, try to kind of get a good entry and then uh, kind of recycle my shares around the core, right? Uh, but, you know, a lot of times uh, that I have my plan, but uh, at the end, you know, I, I couldn't follow it through, so it's not easy. The thesis or the idea behind the recycling is that uh, when you get a one good entry, you try to get, uh, you know, a good entry, right? And you try to pay yourself along the way and uh, without like being too greedy and uh, still holding that position so from up there and then uh, you know and styles kind of reverse and then it stop you out and you might end up at stop at break even or may maybe stop out for a loss you know sometimes right so the idea behind the recycling is that you pay yourself along the way and then you add back uh, the shares that you covered in order you know to kind of recycle the core of, of the shares to me it's more like a, you know when you trying to kind of surf the waves it's like a, you know I think I'm gonna just try to put it in a simplistic way as possible like imagine this is the wave that you know in the ocean right it's like ups and down ups and down and if you are a good surfer right like Bao or like Alex who's been trading for over two decades now and yeah, so they know exactly how the stock is gonna behave and so that's easier for them to kind of recycle the shares because uh, you know they've been surfing that wave for so for so many times right but uh, for a lot of us for especially for new traders uh, so who's like you know, first time in the ocean, you don't even know how to swim yet. And how can you expect to be surfing that, uh, you know, and if you are still learning. And so that's why it's very hard, the recycling. Mm, but if you try to kind of, uh, you know, learn it and try to do that in the future, I mean, it will reduce uh, so like certain kind of emotions uh, of uh, the particular trait. It's like a La, I'm, I think I'm just gonna put it, uh, you know, uh, in one of the example here. Let's say you're gonna short, uh, you know, somewhere in around like 6.20 here, right? And okay, you have a stop at 6.5, and then when the stock tank, you try to cover some down here, and then you add back, you know, like I'm just put it in in the perfect way. Okay. Keep in mind that this is, uh, you know, a poor example. Uh, it's like, you know, uh, I'm just giving you guys the exact i mean it, it's more like the perfect scenario uh how it's going to be if you're recycling right compares to that if you're holding and not recycling uh, how it, it it will turn out your your pnl uh and and also the emo the emotions that you have to be involved with that so uh la, la, let's just say that you uh, you short some at 6.2 okay so you cover some down here i'm just putting it you know blindly the example here 5.3 and then you short back the bounds uh 5.75 right you add the shares let's say you short here thousand shares so you cover here 500 you add it back here f another you know the, the the shares that you covered right so you back down here around the core and then you cover down here again some at view app you add it back you cover some here add back and you cover some here i mean if you do a simple math, you're gonna make more by doing so, okay? You're gonna make much more. And instead of try to short it here and then cover it down here, like, you know, 
1,000 shares and 1,000 shares, right? And if you do the math, it, you know, you could have done that, recycling the shares, like, you know, once, twice, three times, maybe four times already. So recycling is really powerful, but if you don't do it correctly, it's like, uh, if, if you don't do it correctly, it's, uh, you know, either stop it, it's, uh, it's uh, gonna stop you out because you added the shares or like you cover too soon and then you added back the bounds. I mean, you know, there's a lot of uh, scenarios behind that. So that's why I, that's why I, I, I try to explain it. And, you know, <clears throat> as you imagine as it, this, uh, you know, stock is a wave in the oceans, you know, like ups and down. And if someone like, you know, Bao or Alex has been a good surfer for, you know, for, for decades now. It's easier for them to kind of read how kind of stocks gonna behave. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Uh, one of the things that uh, we've been teaching in MIC is that uh, we try to kind of uh, do like from line to line. I think that's the you know that's the easiest way how you can approach it uh, since you're new and you still want to recycle. Just an example on how I you know would approach it on a recycling. And and again you know I'm I'm really good at uh, this kind of uh, strategy and I know that, you know the kind of uh, support and resistance and and, and 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 all that but it's like uh, you know recycling it's 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 really an art form itself uh, sometimes you have to know exactly when you're going to hit back when you're in uh cover the shares and then you you add back the bounce right i mean some you know it's easier said than done so but uh in this case i'm just uh you know before it's like for me okay so if i want to recycle something if i want to even begin with recycling instead of scalping right i need to know the meat of the move i need to see the bigger picture before i even get in the trade okay so let's say i i am interested in like you know trading dpw the first thing i'm looking at is okay so the the stock is uh let's say you know around this time near the open i'm look at uh, I'm, I'm looking at the chart and I'm, I'm gonna figure out my lines right so uh I'm, I'm i'm gonna ask myself okay so the top is right now like let's say 2.4 okay so before i even thinking about recycling let me see how much meat on the bone uh, this stock has right so 2.4 and let's say here this is the kind of kind of area the support 1.8 okay and the best case scenario that i could get is like to 1.6 but this is more like you know if it gets to that point it's probably the trade is going to be home run so uh so i have here before i even you know starting if, if, before i even thinking about trading this stock i have from 2.4 to 1.8 right so let's say 60 cents here 60 cents uh i'm gonna ask myself okay 60 cents is not enough for me to kind of recycle okay since if i sh i short it you know near that 2.4 and let's say i'm risking only 10 cents right my kind of risk and reward risking 10 cents to be able to you know to my uh to might be able to make the 60 cents back i mean that's pretty good risk reward right okay so my plan is set i think the stock has like at least 60 cents for me, uh, you know, on the downside, uh, you know, uh, uh, on, 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 on the upside. And, uh, you know, on the downside here, if I have stopped out, maybe 10 cents or 15 cents, that's pretty, uh, you know, doable. I'm just gonna put out here example. Okay, so let's say this is the pre-market high. Okay, so I'm gonna put here a short sum. Let's say 1,000 shares, doesn't matter, okay? 1,000 shares. Okay, if I have planned 2.3 thousand shares and if I cover 1.8, so what do I get? 50 cents, right? Yeah, 2.3, 1.8, 50 cents, 1,000 shares, 500 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple math. You're risking 10 cents here, you're risking 100 bucks to make 500 bucks, right? Easy peasy. I mean, it's simple, simple math.
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.